Hey everyone, Santa Shea Bear here, and I've got over here beside me Monkey. My little helper for tonight. We're gonna make some candy. I seen this on a YouTube channel called Come Sit at My Table. <laughs> so it's not my recipe. Never made this before. But it looked like it's pretty easy. Very little ingredients, so let's give it a shot. I am going to substitute one thing from what he did, but um, it should be alright. So, that's a good thing about a recipe. You make it your own, right, Mama? Yeah. So, <laughs> if you saw the last video, we're still laughing about that. Mm -hmm. Many hours later. <laughs> Stick around, let's make some Christmas candy. Okay guys, so what we've got here, here's the ingredients right here. Um, now the recipe calls for, well he used graham crackers and he said you can use Ritz crackers and, but I'm not much on crackers and chocolate, which I suppose you could probably use um, um, pretzels yeah. if you wanted in the bottom. We're going to use vanilla wafers, we're going to try that. We've got two Hershey bars here. These are the big bars. These are the four and a half ounce. Well, 4.4 ounce. Um, he had just regular regular chocolate bars. I suppose you can use just melted chocolate if you wanted. But we got two of these. We got two sticks of butter. We got three tablespoons of water. And we have one cup of sugar. That's it for the ingredients, guys. I've never made this before, so it could be a catastrophe. But we're going to start by lining this uh, pan we've got here. This is a glass pan. I don't know what it is. What is this? What size is it, Mama? I don't know the size. Okay. Well, it's just like it's a glass baking dish, like yeah. a cake yeah. size. So whatever that would be. Um, so we're going to use that, but we're going to line it with some Reynolds Wrap, and we're going to spray it. So uh, let me get some spray, and we're going to line this up and get ready for the next step. So, we figured we will, um, I want to get that poked in. There's that side. We're going to have some early Christmas candy since we have an early Christmas present over there underneath the tree. <laughs> Monkey's over here laughing. Um, so, but let's go ahead and get this line. I reckon you could use parchment paper or wax paper too if you wanted. I guess it's kind of like a Christmas crack type candy. Yeah. Because you, you cut it up. Yeah. yeah. So I, they're calling it a toffee. I always thought toffee was. I always thought toffee was like soft. But. So anyway. And he says spray it down, but don't overdo it because you don't want your crackers or wafers or whatever you're using. Vanilla wafer cookies would probably be good, too. Yeah, that would be good. And so we're just going to, because you don't want it laying in this stuff and getting soggy, so just, just something like that. That should be good. All right. Now we're going to take our wafers or graham crackers. He used graham crackers, which I guess would be all right. <coughs> I'm not exactly sure what this recipe calls for because he said you can use Ritz crackers, you can use saltines, whatever. Yep, but anything you like. We figured, well, since you can substitute, let's use some vanilla wafers in here. And I am making one mellow of a hess over here. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. <coughs> and it looks like this is a what is this? I don't have my glasses. Where's my glasses? I oh. haven't seen your glasses. Oh, they're way over there. They're on the hutch. Okay, I see. So give me just a second, I'll tell you. 
but he used what like one and a half sleeves or something of graham crackers yeah all right this is a 10 ounce which is 300 grams and this is what we've got left over so I think what I'm going to do see so you can with these but I seen him doing that and I thought oh I know what I'd like to try that with pretzels I guess would be alright in the bottom of here too I don't know if you could crack them like he used. If they're pretzels, they, they'll you know. break. But he kind of cuts his though. <laughs> okay, so that's our first step. Now I'll get, get you ready for the next step. As soon as I get Monkey to clean this off for me. <laughs> All right. hang, hang on guys, I gotta get a pan. I forgot to get a pan out. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and put our butter in. We're just going to put this on low. We're going to let the butter melt before we put the sugar in. So we're going to put the butter and the water in. And we're going to get that melted down. Now, like I said, he used regular bars of chocolate. On his, he used four bars. But he said he normally uses three. But he used four. So these two are probably going to be enough. But let's go ahead... And we're going to get this melted down. It'll take a few minutes. But like he said, don't go too high because you don't want it to burn. So I'm going to melt it on low. It's already starting to melt. Once this gets melted, we're going to stir it and add the sugar. And we're going to keep stirring it until it's ready. Now how he described it, he actually showed it, didn't he? Yeah. Two pennies. You know, like a new penny and an old penny. He, he said you want the color about the color of an old copper penny so that's what we're going to do but first let's get this melted down then we're going to add the sugar and that's going to be I guess our toffee right yeah I thought toffee was because it's going to be crunchy well it is kind of like toffee no oh, okay well monkey says it is kind of so here we go let's let this get it won't take that long we'll, we'll get this melted down and then we're going to add the sugar and we're going to start cooking. Okay, our butter's melted. Now we're going to add our sugar. And he said to kind of bring it up to a boil, turn it up a little bit. And then we'll turn it down and we're going to cook it. And it takes a little while because it's going to get thick. So, like I said, he used four regular sized Hershey bars which they're one and a half ounces and we got two of those they're 4.4 .4 ounces each so I'm thinking maybe one and a half of those would do it but so we're going to just keep cooking this I don't want to go like I said I've never made this stuff before so I want to be real careful now He's got a couple of them. One, he did like a, a year ago, last year or whatever. And um, he didn't have anything on the bottom. He just dumped this in and then chocolate on top of it. And he was using a uh, one of those rubber spatulas. But on this one that he did this year, he said he used a metal spoon. It seemed to work better. So you're going to want to constantly keep stirring this. And I'll turn you back on when it's almost ready to pour. Okay, guys, I think we're pretty well there. It doesn't look like an old penny, but it is thickening up. See, it's pulling away from the pan. So, let's get you over here. Now, he said it takes about seven minutes, but he was on a gas stovetop, too, and ours is electric, so that, that will make a difference. Now we need to pour this over top of this. And don't scrape the bottom of the pan in case there's any burnt, burnt parts in it. And I remember my grandmother telling me that on a when she was making some kind of candy one time. I was just little, but I remember her saying, because I said, you want to scrape that out? She said, no, you don't want to scrape this out. And so it should start setting up pretty quick. Alright, so 
Because as you can see in the bottom of the pan how brown that is. You don't want that stuff in there. So, but I know there's going to be professional candy makers out there. You got to have a thermometer. Well, maybe you should, but I don't have one, so I'm doing it this way. And you don't, you just want it laying on top. You don't want to push it down in. You just want it laying on top to melt. I was right, about one and a half of these. I guess it doesn't really matter how much chocolate you put on, does it, Mama? No. Oh, yeah, did you hear that? Yeah. Now, we're going to cover this. <laughs> what the hell, right? <laughs> we're going to cover this, and, um, whoa, that went in. That's all right. And we're just going to let this chocolate melt, and then we're going to come back with our spoon and smooth it over. I'm just going to use a cake pan to cover this up. He said it was about three minutes, so, but, you know, just until your chocolate's melted. Don't ever have monkey melt chocolate for you, because she actually tries to get it to where it melts before she can start stirring it, huh, Monk? Mm -hmm. Last year, she had kind of a catastrophe. <laughs> so it's been an ongoing joke all year. All right, we'll be back with you. Okay, so it's been three minutes. I'm just going to remove that. Now we're just going to... Oh, yeah, look at that, Mama. Mm -hmm. Mama already got into the leftover chocolate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're just going to spread this around and try not to push it down into the toffee. And then once we get this done, we're going to put it in the fridge. I, I don't know how long. I'll check his video and see. But I think, you know, I mean, it's just got to set up. But you're supposed to just like crack it. I think I may try to um, like cut it in squares or something. Yeah, just like that. Yeah. So technically about one and a half bars. So he's right about three to four bars. It was just about right for this. So if you're using the big bars like we just used um, about one and a half there we go now we're going to put it in the fridge for I think you said 15 to 20 minutes it's just got to set up I mean you know it doesn't really matter because you're going to break it up anyway or cut it up or whatever This is the first time I ever made this stuff, so I've heard a Christmas crack before. I don't know if this is considered a Christmas crack, but all right, there we go. Now this is mine. So, all right, I'm gonna put this in the fridge and I'll come back with you. I'll let you know how long when we come back, how long, about how long we let ours go. Okay guys, so it's been about an hour and 15 minutes. Just go until the chocolate sets up and you should be good enough. Thank you, monkey. There's what it is. A lot of people just break it up. I, I was telling her, I seen my aunt one time do something. I don't know if it was peanut brittle, but she just lifted it up about a foot off the counter, dropped it in it. It, I, I don't know if it was this stuff or what, but I'm just going to, I'm just going to cut a couple squares right now. Ooh. Mmm. Ooh. Monkey eats them. Is that ready yet? <laughs> All right. Well, there it is. Now let's get Monkey to try this. She's got her festive hat on. <laughs> there you go. Grab your piece of that, Monk. Dinky donk. Oh. Yeah. Alright. We always dinky donk. We always here. I'll give you the big piece. Alright. I guess I'm gonna come around here. We're going dinky donk. Dinky donk. Alright. So <laughs> dinky donk. 
Dinky dong. And there we go. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Vanilla wafers. Mm -hmm. Kick butt. <laughs> Did you hear that? Vanilla wafers kick butt. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. That guy wasn't lying. He's yeah. just not. Uh -uh. You see what he's eating. Mm. Um, I ain't gonna lie to you or something. Now what was it? Anyway, yeah, he said it was good. Mm -hmm. But like I said, he used graham crackers. Wow. Mm. These are delicious. Another bite here. Mm -hmm. Oh, you guys got to try that. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's really good. Oh well, mm. yeah. <laughs> Make it again next year? Oh, yeah. It's not real hard. Mm -mm. Nice. No, no, it's just right. Now, I don't know. Like I said, I've never made this. Never had it with graham crackers or Ritz crackers. I've got enough to make some more. So I might make some for with Ritz crackers for her. But I think the wafers. I like the wafers, yeah. I mean, because, you know, it's got that, like, cream in the middle of the wafers. <coughs> Excuse me. That you can taste. Right. So, yeah. Very good. Well, like I said, um, and you don't have to put that much chocolate. I mean, there, there's, you know, like seven ounces of chocolate on there. so almost a half a pound of chocolate. So, it'll take longer to set up. But, you know, just till it sets up, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. You ate that already? Oh, heck yeah. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Very good. Very, very good. Here. <laughs> she checked her blood and it was 114. She's like, oh, I don't need any insulin. <laughs> no. She can have chocolate. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for my equipment present. You're welcome. <laughs> I stuck it under the tree. <laughs> All right, guys. Yeah. Two thumbs up. What is it? Come sit at my table. He does some cooking shows and yeah. makes candy and stuff, so he does a really good job. That was very good. Him and his wife are um, they're retired school teachers. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. So thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Shea Bear, the Myth, the Man, Legend. Gone for now, Mom. Like I said, she's out. Bye, y'all. Mm. Now, as very it gets good. closer to Christmas, probably the 23rd, maybe Christmas Eve, I'm going to do some cookies and some fudge so and I'll bring you on for a little bit of that bring you along with me I got a camping trip coming up I'm not going very far <laughs> but my yearly solo so um, yeah but I won't tell you anymore but it's going to be a fun one all right guys thanks for watching we'll see you Shea Bear the Myth Man Legend go for now month bye guys take care Merry Christmas Good, huh? Yeah, very nice. Very nice.